far later in the show. This is uh, Tarunish now. Uh, we'll touch on how close those women were as we get underway. Great success in life is gained by really perseverance, and this is one of those types of races. And if you want to be good, you have to really kind of push the pace and be strong, and it, it is wearing and stressful and painful to try and go at the pace she goes for 14 minutes. Well, one thing's for sure, she will get tremendous support from the Ethiopian crowd that always comes to support both her and Mesrit Defar. The unpredictable part of the equation is, will the rabbit do an adequate job? Rabbit's got to pay attention. There are signs down there every lap to tell you how fast you're going. She wants to go right around 70 seconds for each of the two first laps and the next two 70 seconds and so forth. That's a 440 mile pace. No reason to fall off. The athletes that are chosen here by the meet director are capable of going the distances they're asked to, and they're paid a few dollars to do that as well. While we're on the subject, $25,000 goes to Dibaba, and she's the odds-on favorite to win, and, and also the odds-on favorite to try and break the world record if she is successful here. It would be her second 25 in three years if she can accomplish it. Coming up now to the first lap. They are right on schedule. Munchen continuing to lead the pace. 220. Right on pace to do her job is the young lady here who is rabbiting this race. Trailing behind, just like cars in Indianapolis, you want to draft off somebody, it saves you energy. And notice them just running in single file, it's the way it's going to be. Just to uh, confirm, that is Bridget Binning that is leading, and now has stepped off the track. Now Marina Munchen of Serbia will pick up the pace, and we'll be back with more of this 5,000 meters when we return to the Reggie Lewis Center for the Reebok Boston Indoor Games. Stay with us. That's her leg turnover. Beautiful strides, incredibly fluid. The pace very even, so there's a rhythmicness to her stride. Arm action is terrific. Up on the balls of her feet, driving. There is energy in her legs. You can see it, how it transforms to the power as she flies along the track. And the athletes know what a conducive facility this is for these kinds of races. Races from a mile up through 5,000 meters are run very well on this Reggie Lewis Center track. Now, three less than three laps remaining, and Debava did, does not look as though she has lost anything. Not one second off of the pace she has been grinding out for the last 3,500 meters. Right, and so help me, I'm getting chills watching this. She looks faster a bit in the backstretch in the previous lap, and she's still got three to go here, coming up to two plus, but she is going to have something left. This place is going to rock. I see people on this, everybody standing here, sold out capacity crowd of about 5,000, and she is just tearing up the place. Still four seconds under world record pace, going where no woman has ever gone before, and she's sprinting down the straightaway down the backside. This is where she started to lose it last year, and she was still just over world record pace, so she then missed it by the better part of three seconds. We are not seeing her backing off at all. In fact, she's starting to work her arms even quicker the last 250 meters, and she looks as fresh as she did when the gun went off. She's just about to lap her sister, Ijigayo. She is about six seconds under the pace from last year. She is sprinting down the backstretch. She ran a 31 second last 200 meters. This is the last lap. This place is going crazy. 100 meters to go. She may even break 1430. And there is no slowdown. Look at the arm speed. Look at the leg speed. She's in full sprint. broken by four almost five seconds plus at this point sensational stuff sensational time her time works out to about four minutes and 39 seconds a mile times 3.1 miles this is it's so stunning it is she is 21 years of age she would be the equivalent of a college senior in the United States and here she's running faster than any woman ever has by what seven eight seconds it's just astounding well it was clear that she was not going to allow herself to miss the record by a little bit like she did last year and she simply shattered this record and made it look easy. Oh gosh, from the opening gun, smooth and strong, I was taken with her in the first two or three laps as I kept watching her, and she just seemed to be very strong and powerful today. 
you've watched, I've watched so many distance runners that you kind of get a feeling sometimes, this is a great day. She is on. She is ready. And it just kept, kept up the same type of rhythm and strength.